Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I finally filmed a full face makeup look. It has been such a long time ago. Um, so yeah, I filmed this makeup look in my little studio right after me. So this is basically my go-to makeup look. It's not like for every day, but I do wear this every time I'm going somewhere and I want to make sure that it looks great. Um, I know from the eye colors, the eyeshadow colors that I'm wearing right now, that they suit me and they make my eyes kind of pop. And also the foundation and all the concealer products that I'm wearing, I just know that they work for my skin. So yeah, today I'm going to show you how I created this. And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. So the first thing I'm going in with is the Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer. I'm using this for a very long time and I still love it. It just does what it says. It really hides the pores. So now I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I use it in the shade 4. And I'm applying this on my face using a damp beauty blender. So this is my fourth bottle already and I am obsessed with this foundation. It's full coverage. Um, it doesn't look super cakey on me and it stays in place all day. So yeah, it's definitely my number one foundation at the moment. I freaking love it. <laughs> now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Also a really nice product by Urban Decay. I do have to say I prefer the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer, but I have run out of that concealer unfortunately and it's always sold out. <laughs> so that's why I'm using this concealer, but this one is also really nice. So I'm using my beauty blender to blend this in my foundation. I prefer using my beauty blender instead of a brush to apply my foundation and concealer. I feel like it gives a more natural finish. So now I'm going in with the Smashbox lip primer and this is my current favorite lip primer. Um, it gives a way more natural effect on the eyelids. It isn't as dry as the Soft Ochre by MAC, so yeah, I will definitely recommend that one. So now I'm going to set everything in place using the Vanilla Powder from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the Powder Contour Kit. So I'm going to apply this on all the places where I have just applied my concealer and also a little bit on my eyelids. So now to contour my face, I'm going to use the Jouar Sun Tan Bronzer. So I know this is basically a bronzer, but I really like to use this to contour my cheekbones. It gives a super natural finish and I think you can see on camera, yeah, it just looks super natural. I love it. And I, I already have hit pan on this product. So yeah, soon I have to buy a new one and I will definitely repurchase this product. And oh my gosh, I feel like with every product I'm saying like this is my favorite current product, but this is like my go-to look. So I think it's kind of normal that I grab all my favorite products for like a regular day. So yeah, just so you know. So now I'm using this Extra Dimension Powder by MAC in, in the shade Medium Deep just to warm up my whole complexion. So I'm using a big fluffy brush by Sigma and I'm applying this on my forehead and on my cheekbones as well. And I really like the undertone of this product, it's not too orange, which I really like. So now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn Eyeshadow and I'm using my Morphe M504 brush, which is a super fluffy big blending brush, which I really like. Especially for like now, I'm going in with my first shade and I want it to be super dense and not too heavy on the crease. So this brush is perfect. So I'm just going to blend this shade all over my crease back and forth. So now for my next shade, I'm going in with the Burnt Orange Eyeshadow, which is also by Anastasia. And I'm just going to warm up my crease and this one is a little bit darker. So I'm basically going to do the exact same thing, just blend it back and forth, but this shade is just more on the orange side, which will warm up the whole crease. So now I'm going to use this The Balm Nude Beach Eyeshadow Palette, which I also used in my previous video, I will link it down. And I'm going in with this super pretty orangey shade. And this one is darker than the Burnt Orange by Anastasia. So I'm just going to blend this in my outer V and then more towards my crease. And this will make it even more darker and even more warm, which I really like. I have a little bit uh, green in my eyes and using shades like these really make my eyes pop out more. And I feel like these kind of shades look pretty with every eye color. So if you have brown eyes, this will also look super pretty on you. If you have blue eyes, it looks amazing. Yeah, I think everyone can pull this off. So now I'm using a MAC 242 brush and I'm pressing that whole shade, that same orangey shade from the, the Balm palette and I'm just going to apply it all over the eyelid. So to make sure that there are no harsh lines, I'm just going to use that same shade with the Suifa blending brush around the edges 
to make sure that everything is well blended out. So now again I'm using that same shade and I'm using a Sigma Flat Diviner Brush and I'm just going to softly apply this underneath my lower lash line. So first I'm going to press so there's like as much as possible product underneath the lower lash line and then I'm going in with this Morphe brush and I'm just going to softly blend it out using again that same brush. I really wanted that orangey shade from the De Balm palette to be very obvious on the eyelids. So now for a new waterline I'm going to use this Suifa nude eye pencil and I'm just going to apply a thin layer on the waterline and this will make my eyes appear bigger and it's like a nude pencil like my skin color so it doesn't look too heavy like if I go in with white sometimes it's too heavy. So now I'm going to warm up my lash curler. I'm not going in with fake lashes today I'm just going to keep it simple because that's also what I do on a regular base. So when I don't wear lashes, I really need to make sure that I heat up my lash curler so my lashes are more higher. And then I'm going in with this Cuba Waterproof De Balm Mascara, which is my current favorite. It's waterproof, which is really nice. And also it makes my lower lashes super long. And my upper lashes are always a little bit of a problem, but with this mascara, it looks pretty nice. So yeah, it's definitely my favorite at the moment. So now for my lips, I'm going in with this lip liner by NYX. I prefer their other lip pencil. This is one that you need to twist to get the product out. But these are super creamy and I'm not sure. I feel like I like their regular pencils a little bit more, but this shade is super pretty. So now I'm going in with this Morphe Brushes Virgin, Virgin Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to apply this right on top. This is such a pretty shade. It's like a nude color with a pinky undertone, which is my absolutely favorite kind of shade. So for my highlighter, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer highlighter, which is one of the first highlighters that I owned. And yeah, it's such a pretty color. Ever since I restarted using this more, everyone is asking me like, what highlighter are you using? But yeah, it's just the De Balm Mary Luminizer. It's just a old favorite of mine. So now for my blush, I'm going to use the De Balm Cosmetics Hot Mama blush and it's in like a sort of coral shade with a shimmer. So because it has a shimmer, it melts perfectly together with the highlighter. And yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos and what kind of eye looks you want me to create. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This will really help my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! All the eyes on me, all the eyes on me.